Hello, everybody, and welcome to the marathon. Five seconds remaining. I'm sprinting, Diet and my cat Mako is in my lap. It's not the best thing to do in a marathon. Um, you have to at the start and the end, though. That's true. To. Mako wants out and of my you, lap. Then, 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 he's in gay baby jail. Then you throw up, though. You, you throw up. Oh, I throw up every time I run, no matter what. Yeah, that's true, well, but you, like, very specifically when, throw up then. When I run competitively, I don't throw up in my normal ones. You you do it, that's when you're in the competitions, that's when you run to you throw up. That's how I knew that I was running the right amount. If I didn't throw up, I was running hard enough. And you should throw up before you... Radiant team back. Radiant you, team back. If you throw up right after you cross the finish line, that's when you ran your best. There you go. So for any vomit yeah. fans out there in the LE2L, there you go. I did almost puke on a guy once. We had uh, had these little chips on our shoes um, that uh, that they had to that were you know would record when you cross the start line because there were a bunch of people. So sometimes they'd be delayed. And when you cross the end line, so you'd have the thing, and then they untied it at the end, you know, and took the chips back. And I almost vomited it on his head when he was untying my shoe, but the first one was dry, so I was just like, Whoop, and then he dodged, and then the second one dry vomited, but so we avoided vomiting on his head. Reach Doctor! Switching it up! Different support lineup this time. First pick, Witch Doctor. Anyways, I think what this what last game proved was that Danny was the problem. True. With uh, the Foy Gras. Therefore, because he is gone, they should win. Five yes. Remaining. Literally guaranteed. Danny vomits before the race is over. That's all I gotta say. That's true. You can kind of tell where these teams' mentalities are at by how both yeah. teams are banning, because both teams are just exclusively banning Comfort and right. Timbersaw for some weird reason. I love Timbersaw. He loves him so much. Right? Hero when I was uh, when I was young, it's my first. But now you're like old. Off, I like playing Timbersaw. I, uh, one of my very things before, I wasn't really sure, I was in a, uh, I was in a league for, a, like, very shitty, it wasn't really a league, it was just, there was, like, a Friday night Dota games for this shitty tiny Dota subreddit, um, and, which, and, uh, you know, and since it was just, we had, like, 10 people exactly, so it was, you know, like, 1k people and 5k people, and I was Timbersaw on the 5k, uh, and the 5k Weaver on the other side tried to dive tower to kill me, and he underestimated her damage, and I killed him, and I felt, I felt like I'd, I'd fucked the world, I killed that 5k guy, he underestimated me. Radiant team I felt damage, baby. How did you originally find out about the LD2L, do you even remember? I joined the subreddit for Learn Dota 2 from the regular Dota 2 subreddit. Um, and then that one mentioned the Learn Dota 2 League somewhere, and then I joined the Learn Dota 2 League. That's so, crazy. Yeah, Reddit, which is embarrassing, but on the plus side, whatever. Reddit is cringe. Yeah, there's probably more embarrassing facts about me, so. If you want, why don't you tell everybody? Agency. Why don't you tell everybody your embarrassing secrets while we're waiting through for these next uh, picks to come in? Hmm, okay. Let's see. Anani knows most of my kinks. And I'm also gay, so I don't want to fuck him. He just knows them because I talk about them a lot with him. Because it's fun. This is true, for the record. And it, Slightly it unrelated it's... to Dota, but you know how it goes. You said tell my embarrassing secrets. What did you expect me to do? Not do it? No, I totally you expected you to stupid. do that. I totally expected you to do that. I just wanted to call you out for it when you had done it. Here's DK. Ooh, Dragon Knight. You used to not like Dragon Knight. Do you still not like Dragon Knight? He was really good for one patch because Mage Slayer was super baller. Right. Now it's just like, okay, and the hero is back to... Well, he's, like, uniquely good with it compared to most other heroes. So he right. still has a place to, like, live. But I don't mm. think he's... Y you can't pick him at a time like this. He's, like, mm. he's got to be somebody to pull out late because... If he gets countered, he's dead. I try you, Foy Gras. Stop feeding corn to ducks, assholes. Yeah, come Sleep on. on 
My chair is spinning around because my cat got on it, and then I tried to push him away from it, and now it's spun, and I now I have to turn it back around and look at the computer. Yeah, those things tend to happen. Yeah, my chair's like, ooh, which Dr. Hudwig might be no Rubik this game. Yeah, also might be no DK. That's like, it's a sad thing about DK, but it is true. There's Void Spirit. You can kind of get rid of DK with the support line alone, and these two are exactly how you do it. The Rake on the Hoodwink, the Maledict, and the Death Ward are really hard for him to deal with. Alright. This is already looking like a really hard DK game. He's just going to need to get BKB to do anything at all, and that's not great. Alright, well, I'll try good night. Or at least he's got can... a silencer with him, I guess. Right, he does have a silencer, just silence his foes. Oh, Have I didn't even mention silencer? that game! Oh, sorry. I, no, I've never had a silencer to silence my foes. Well, actually, I did. That's why we lost. That's true. Uh, he didn't know how to play but... that. He's doing his best. Here's DP. Here's DP. This is, like, kind of a bad DP game for most of the same reasons as a bad DK game, but at the very mm -hmm. least, the silence is pretty pretty brutal against these three, and the silencer as well will help with that. I mean, they've got a lot of silence. It's a very quiet game. Yeah. Right. The uh, Void Spirit is going to have to build either a BKB or a Mantis style very quickly, and right. he's probably not going to want to do that, and especially it's going to basically get rid of the advantage he had against the DK, because, you know, the DK's big downside here is that he's also going to do that. Here's Ogre Magi. Ogre Magi! I like Ogre Magi. He was my a, fuck you when I was a foy. This is a uh, very, very beefy lineup. I, I like the DK, the DP, the Ogre Magi, just three Ten big dudes. Well, Ogre isn't really a big dude anymore. You you can build him to be that way, but he's not by default. But still, will usually be that way. So you got three big dudes and then weedy little mm. silencer. He's kind of he's kind of a thicky for a support at least. You know, like he's yeah. not he's not going to be the biggest man, but he's you know he's he's good for support. And speaking of Thicky, no, here's Arga to this, picking the hero that's on his body pillow. Hmm. Oh, Arga to this likes to fuck not get Siren. She is kind of the underwater Snussy, you know? Remaining. Do you think that en enhances the flavor and the texture? Radiant team back. Honestly, I'm not that into seafood. So. You are a hmm. vegan, so I would guess that. Team back. You know, there was a uh, there was a guy in this team named Code Line who made his who made a team, and it was supposed to be a vegan themed team because he was vegan. He even made a song about it, and that's the truth. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Well, geez, for the brief bouts of dead air here, as uh, I'm investigating the cause of Combination Bean's sudden disappearance. She is still on the call. Ten seconds remaining. Apparently she is having microphone difficulties. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I, that's a shame. I was saying lots of dumb stuff, too. That's yeah, okay, you'll live. No, I won't. I, I was <laughs> telling a story about how there was a guy who was a vegan, and he made a song about his vegan team, and then never did anything with it. Nice. Tragedy. It's true. That could have been you. You could have been on the vegan team. I could have. You know, we can demonstrate our, um, you know, our proper, you know, we demonstrate our things and, you know, meat and how we don't touch it. And you could have been really sad because that team came in dead last. Oh, you know, listen, I'm used to that. Damn. I don't think you've ever actually been on a team that was last place. 
I've been on some pretty poor performing teams. Like what? I know a long time ago there was... Uh, my first team I was ever on where I got drafted to play one when I was new. I didn't do very good. Then I really didn't know any other heroes but Luna. Now I like do know other heroes to a degree. Like then I I did not. Um, you know, at least for one. And uh, we, did, we didn't do... We, we lost a lot. Um, that was no. Lotus for POTUS, wasn't it? I think so. Or at least that was on a team with Lotus. Was Lotus on that team? I don't think we were on that one. I think that might have been the one where Lotus was for POTUS, but I don't think that was... I'm pretty sure that was a team that kicked our ass in playoffs. Razor's back again, huh? Right, Razor... I don't... I'm guessing they were going to pick up the Viper there, and then it got banned. The right. Razor kind of sticks out, and again, it's just on a hero. It's like, you know, we've seen, you know, G-Rav did win on it earlier, but it would be kind of a stretch to say it felt like the Razor had a lot to do with that fact. Right. They are going to pick a hero it goes awesome into, though. That is a question mark in all chat type Drow Ranger pick. What were you thinking? I believe it. Okay, yeah, I did get. We did go six and ten in one one season on Goon Squad led by Jaybird. I'm um, the. I don't know if we've ever been dead bottom. That one about tied with my Quap Circles record, which was five to nine. Um, which was also not dead bottom, but was fairly close. You know. Yeah, I think that was. Uh... I think that was 10th out of 12. Something like that. Anyways. What was I in yeah. But was one, one went away from making brackets, who's that? Yeah. Anyways, it was a good memory. Scoon Squad was fun. I had those guys. Uh, we didn't do great, but we had some fun. I got drafted to support next season by Decode, who was our off lane that season. We also drafted Jaybird, who was our leader, and that was that was pretty fun. We had, uh, you know, that one we actually did very well. Riot Squad went 12 and 6. Um, Decode, love that man. You know, he's, he's a fella. He's old. Yeah, he's fella. He's British. Yeah, uh, that's that, even that worse. Was, that was a season we had Tyboy. Tyboy was okay. You know? Um... We hung out. I, I, you know, I'm not a very person who really contradicts people, so it worked out okay. There we go. Yeah. Well, let's talk about some of the more important things in life now, right? No. All right. Well, let's talk about this fact that we have Drow Ranger in an absolutely terrible Drow Ranger game. Like, Drow Ranger in a Naga Siren. You know, I gotta really give, I really gotta give it credit. That's like in a uniquely bad matchup. That's like not a bad right. matchup that you would think about off the top of your head. But boy, does it uh, suck. Right. Like, like me. Okay, here's a pop quiz for you. How do you make Drow good? How do you make Drow work? She has to be not being attacked by people. Yeah, she that's a very attacked. laconic way to say it. But I would say, you know, you have a big wall of things in front of her that really can't be pushed down easily. Take all the heat and let her fight from the back. Naga Siren sings a silly song. That's a really big curse of the silent. Naga Siren sings a silly song, and it doesn't matter how much beef you have in front of Drow Ranger. Naga Siren, and in fact, anybody who needs to get to Drow can just get to her. Right. I'm pretty sure you can even start stealing damage with the static link while song is going it's like oh it's anime um dragon knight yeah this time i was wondering about that but i didn't say it out loud three for one for the uh for the bounties nice good job Dye. and the other one's uncollected wait no no four, four, four for zero that's, four for one a, four for zero that's a trifecta baby four four zero ding 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 this looks like such a baller Naga game. The only thing she's really worried about at all is the the silencer. It's such a 
Well, I mean, I guess the, D the DP is kind of bad for her, but not, <sighs> not too bad. I need to learn Naga. I, uh, that was the hero I was planning on getting better at, but I never really got around to because I don't know that much. But at some point, I'll be expanding my pool of ones, and Naga will be involved. There you go. You're, you're a big fan of the underwater whatever you said as well, I take it. Underwater Snessy? Um... Yeah, I'm pointing that not... one off on you. I didn't say that. Yeah, I, I know. That's I know that's what I said. Anyways, I'm not saying you did. Anyways, uh, not particularly. It's just I need to learn an illusion here on PL. Never went too good for me. Um, very, very interesting. They decided to run a pause three void spirit and pause two razor here. Cause they really wanted to stick this at mid against the DK for some reason. I, uh, you know, you gotta trust me. He's, he sucks the off. Uh, you you gotta, know, gotta. Oh boy, Coplas, very low. <laughs> it's with a blood grenade. That's sad. Gonna take uh, out most of that tango. Right. Oh yeah, Nani Sigmatic. No, I'm not. Nobody heard any of that. Oh you know, no. The thing is, we... oh no. Uh, she got green. No, don't now. get, don't let yourself get sucked. No, Tobos. Oh, no. no. Not, again. not again. Oh, not that's the again. saddest thing I've ever seen. She was so dead if he just walked away. Oh, Mako's coming over because I was screaming. He got worried about me. Well, that means you're back in gay baby jail, Mako. That's very sad. Just like that first blood, that was the most miserable first blood ever. All that he needed to do was just walk away. And not only did he get first blood, like, get first blooded, he would have gotten first blood had he just not gotten the suck. Tragedy. I always hate when I get the suck. Well, Bad news. Right. Or I guess good news, since you hate it. Right. You will never get the suck. Good. On bottom, anyways. Yep, she's right here, everybody. She's right around here. Alright. Who's around here? You are. It's you. Me. Right. Yeah, you're. 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 You just said you're at bottom. Yeah. Bottom. I meant. I meant in the sex way. Oh man, my funny joke, and my PG rating. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm definitely putting it to a, uh, I'm going for a NC-17+. plus. I gotta say, if the whole gambit here was to get Razor mid to win against the DK, swing and a miss, he's not. He's DK doing up. his best. DK up, six last hits, seven last hits, three denies. I believe in you, Razor. Void Spirit's ball at least. Oh, I found my nail... No, I didn't find my nail clipper. I guess I am stupid. Well, actually, I was going to say I was stupid for not losing it. And for not finding it. It's complicated. Why well, you gotta go make things so complicated? Me, you know. He's not Pause a new hero anymore. anymore. That's fucked up. Yeah, that's true. I, th I still feel like every heal that was added after I started is a new hero. Like, no, that yeah. qualifies as new. Ember Spirit's a new hero. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Like, my bar, my, my mental bar for new heroes is Legion Commander and the Spirits, the three Spirits. Oh, uh, yeah. Legion Update. Commander's a new hero. I'll see the new hero. Storm, Storm was in the game when I started, but I think Earth was a new hero. New yeah. Yeah, I started playing right after they added Slardar and right before they added Abaddon. Right. I was there a bit after that. Well, I think I played, like, like in the beta, but not like... That was in the guess. beta. I know, but I don't know exactly when I played, because when I first played in it, then I did it, and then people were mean to me, so I stopped playing Dota for a while. Just like this time! Anyways. That's very sad. Look at it go. That was oh, some yeah. pretty unfortunate bounces. Just went right into the uh, camp and stayed there. As a yeah. result, Silence is going to get to live. Look at it go. By some act of god, the the Naga Siren is still above the DP, who's had a pretty free lane so far in terms of last hits, so the first blood is definitely going to equalize anything that uh, right. she would have from it. Right. 
Oh, Sweet Void Spirit is actually kind of working. He's, uh, second place net, second place CS in the server. Nice. He's got nine denies. Nice. Right. He's got twice Drow's last hits, and also, uh, Razor just went top and killed DPs. So we're gonna take a, oh my god, we're gonna take a very slow look at that. This is just the most miserable way. Just these two guys is linked to each other. Yeah. Two friends giving each other a hug. What can you do? Two friends giving each other blowies. Don't say that. But that's what happened. They were both sucking. I'm 69. This is a family show. No, it isn't. Yeah, it is. No one watches this for people who play LD12. Yeah, they have families. L if there are any children in LD12, I want you to know I hate you. Bad news for the bush. Yeah, you shit the bush. It's not even you in the season. You didn't even do 9-11, you just took credit. That's stealing valor, the bush. I don't appreciate it. He's definitely not watching this, I can tell you that much. That's good. I guess definitely not is a little much, but he is, it is intensely unlikely, so there's that. Well, he's certainly not watching it right now, because this isn't live, so... Also true, yeah. So bad news for any fans of the Bush in chat. Right, any Bush fans in chat who are hoping to respond to the slander, that won't be happening. My slanderous words will go unchallenged because they always do. I always win. That's true, I like how Blue Jay like set up a kill there when Dark Ace is not even in the lane. Like he, he, he did the point. little he did the little stun, he was like, I'm gonna get never mind. He was like, I'm gonna stump you. Tall balls refuse to take. Stump ya. Tall balls refuse to take that tomato. Right. Safety bubble. Yep. I need a bubble. Here comes the razor. Up. Oh, Trout turned on her game shark codes. Looks like it's not gonna matter much. Maybe it will. DK's TP in, and they oh, do not want to no, stay no, for no. it. Oh, it's done. He's not taking a ton of. He's taking damage slowly. Oh, that's a little faster. Hey, Ogre wants it, but Ogre, you're. You're kind of alone, buddy! g raf should have power done, uh, power tread strength there. To lower the risk of dying. But he did live anyway! Yeah, he's, he's smarter than you, don't think about it. He is a nuclear engineer! Oh, nice. You know, I was gonna do that, but then I didn't. Oh, he could have been g raf in an alternate timeline. I could have Middle I think he would have turned mechanical because he wanted another person to be like him, but he would have probably accepted it. The Naga Siren is no longer even in this lane. Feels like it's a bit early to look at the net worth chart. I mean, we did it at a pretty similar time last time, but might as well. That kill on the, uh, kill on the Ogre Magi has put the... Void Spirit pretty firmly into first place. It's really kind of a competitive race all around. The only person in the entire match who feels like she's super down is unfortunately the Trow Ranger. Oh, that is kind of a dick and balls dot com. It's uh it's gonna be a very tough Trow game just Oh she's not reasons, six so. yet. That's why she was doing no damage. I'm like she should be doing more damage because like she's out of six, right? She's not six. Yeah, she's about to get it right now. Right. Right now, there we go. Look at that, now look at that, now look at that damage. Things are changing, it's gonna get pretty crazy. DP pops the first ult to just take down this top T1 with no resistance. Nice. Oof, oof. Global Ooh. Silence trying to secure the kill. Oh, wait, wait. But, uh, the Witch Doctor shows up. Oh, good night, I is secured, and, uh, Hoodwink says, yeah, that's not. So that was pretty good, but I think they would have much rather had the Drow than the Ogre Magi for all that. Dropped a lot oh. to get him. At the very least, the Void Spirit survived, that's pretty good. Dyer's middle tower yeah. is under attack. If you lose some, you lose some. DP starts putting pressure on the top T2. All it really Dyer's takes to undo that is for, uh... What the hell? Okay, we gotta check this out. 
That was just as simple as it gets. T-Raph is just like, she's here! She tries to TP, she doesn't get anywhere. This will only hurt yeah. forever. This will only this hurt will forever. forever. And it is true! Yeah, cause, uh, cause, uh... Maga it is true, cause Drow Ranger has not oh, no. accepted the letter. Oh. The uh, the Naga Siren almost got out of there. That uh, the TP is just a little bit slow. I'm not really sure why she was there to begin with. She's just eaten a lot of damage for no reason, and that has pushed her down to uh, second lowest score. She is still doing well better than the Drow, but a big part of their success this game is going to be on the Naga Siren. If she is as slow to get online as Drow is, it's going to be pretty rough stuff. Like, the reason the DK sucks is because the support line gets, gives him, and also because he can't really do much to the Void Spirit, and also because he doesn't really do that much to the Razor, but if you take all those reasons out of the equation, the only reason that he sucks is because of the Naga Siren, so maybe it's not going to be so bad. Mm. That's what I'm saying. Dark Ace walks right into the DP. Loses over half his HP, almost loses 100% of it. g Raph claims that, uh... Life has not been hard enough already for, uh, for Ogre Magi. Support line just straight up takes a fall here. DK. Elder Dragon form is off cooldown. I don't think he really wants to use it. Middle tower is under attack. Still chase each other. They're going to do both the Exo and the Elder Dragon form here. We've got a big two-man Maledict, but, uh... Seem like they're going to be struggling to actually do much with it. Global coming mm. out. Triple kill. Everybody who jumps on that gets annihilated. Turns out they uh, kind of need the Razor or the Naga Siren to actually do any damage. This Ember Spirit guy, especially before he gets Echo Saber, which he just pulled out, he doesn't really do any damage. He's uh he called he... an Ember Spirit. Void Spirit. Did I? I meant Void Spirit. Yes. This Void Spirit, he kind of does no damage. He's got a horrific condition called Does No Damage Itis. It makes him do no damage. He's got Ligma Balls. It's not true. It's true. I checked. I looked at his balls and they were very legged. I say, why were you looking at it? DK's picked up a I Midas I was investigating. Here. Again, this is a very unfortunate scenario where the guy on the team that will never outskill the other side picks up the Midas. Which isn't the worst thing to do in the world, but I would only really even think about it if I was, like, bottom of the charts, and he is not even close to that, so this is a little greedy. You know, the biggest the biggest time this team is going to matter is before Naga Siren gets scary. Like, is this is looking like the first game? Like, when this Naga Siren gets scary, that's it. Right. Like, when she's able to just song past everybody and then just eat the drow in a femtosecond, it's like, it's pretty over. You know, a femtosecond is a very short unit of time. That's true. And it's uh, about how long drow has once uh, this Naga Sara gets like four items. Right. The uh, DP is only mildly threatening to the whole Naga experience. Once the heart comes out, she's really not anymore. The DK is like food for her. It's like a really terrible matchup for him. I'm gonna mean, go deep against the Razor here. He's gonna pop his blade mail. A bit of an unfortunate cast there. If that starts bouncing, that looks like a really sexy death war, but no such luck. Void yeah, Spirit not doing. Can be sexy, I understand. Void Spirit doing his best impression of a pause 2 player right now. I believe in your void spirit. I guess it makes some sense. Draw Ranger lodges her protest of the Naga Siren fight. Starting up in earnest up here at top. Razor gets kinda smell oh! oh! Alright, great assassination by the Hoodwink. Ends up taking out the uh the Dragon Knight there, losing the up. Oh. Oh, Game shark codes turn on, but she's already spirit siphoning. Well, the call up is death. Good yep, the spirit boss. siphon was already happening. Oh, Naga Siren's actually coming in from behind the lines here. Takes out oh, Black Otter. The oh, the DP! 
Oh, DB did not get the opportunity to, to uh, call in her ghost. Naga goes to Naga, ooh. Yeah, nice Mega goes to Naga. Naga now first place, not worth chart. Nice, Naga. Keep building her up. Going for an Orchid next. Just to nice. absolutely... Well, until the DK gets BKB anyway. Unfortunately, nice. the detour out to Midas is going to put that off very badly. He's going for the Blink Dagger first, so... You know, the earliest he's even possibly going to be at BKB at this rate is going to be like... 25, 28 minutes. Right. Around that range, it was super rough. It's going to be a long time when Naga's going to be able to eat him for totally free, and he isn't going to be able to do anything about it but cry. Mm -hmm. Also, loves that Manta style out, which uh, gets rid of some nasty stuff. Does it get lower of the global? Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. That's rough. That's rough, buddy. That's, uh, What's that's what Muff would say. Uh, I was asking if Mantis style got rid of the global silence. The answer yeah. is yes. Yeah, it does. A lot of things give it a global. Yep. It's rather rough, as it turns out. Yeah. Having out one second to make sure the video looks fine. It does! Awesome. Likely gonna be a little bit of stuttering, but... Part fine. of that Nobody is just due to... These. True. A lot of that is just due to, uh, the patch that came out, so unfortunately... There is some degree to which that I cannot do anything about it. That's a coward's talk. I just go to Valve's office and I beat every last one of them senseless. There was a patch that uh, came out pretty recently where replays from the patch prior just did not work at all. Like right. you just get like five minutes in and then crash. And it took them like a week to fix that. Nice. Luckily, you that week. Nice luckily, we had that week off, and thank God we did, or else those videos would have gone right to the trash can. Somebody just cheered for the Radiant. Nice. Happy birthday, Radiant. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. That that's not what comes next. Happy birthday. To you. Whose Happy birthday is birthday, it? Dear Happy birthday to you. Ooh, a smoke. Gathering. Yeah, four man smoke. Everybody but the DK smoked up here. DK is the one looking for trouble and has actually found it in the form of the Hoodwink, who he's going to get rid of very short or, or he's going to blink past her and do nothing. Global Silence comes out is going to be more than enough to get rid of the G-Raph. Actually, the Tall Ball Souls as well. Ark is deep into this. There's a lot of faith in her, uh, in her Void Spirit. Oh no. Oh no, baby. She never sang. That's super weird. She just let it happen. Was not watching her HP, I guess? I don't know. That looked like it should have gone terribly for the Radiant. It looked like such a bad go for them. It didn't really matter because of that. It's kind of rough. Well, you know, these things happen, I suppose. True. Things do often happen. T2 top does fall down here. Hoodwink is starting to feel a bit nutty. I do tend to nut in these situations. Don't say that. Why? Black Otter's getting upset. He's like, what a racket. What a racket. He's playing tennis. I do love using a racket, so I, I'm protection. We should run a protection racket, Anani. Okay, well, we protect him. Mm hmm. Let me think. This is a toughie. <clears throat> they found Drow, and they're TPing the whole world to come find her. The Naga Siren coming in from the back. Huge multi shot, though. Yep. Drow is not dead. Okay, there we go. Drow's dead. Dragonite lost all of his damage. Not like he did that much to begin with, I guess. No, Naga's kind of nervous. No more for me. No, it's only the DP. I'm mad. Let's take Everyone's stacking their skills. Okay, never matter. Doesn't matter, Orchid comes what? out. <laughs> Maybe it does sucker, matter. Sucker, sucker, 
There will be no sucking. Five for one trade here and a complete inversion of the last fight. Nothing even changed in that fight except just they the Razor got to live for a, a little bit longer and the Void Spirit was earlier in the fight. Only a very small change and what was such a dramatic disaster for the uh, Dire turned into a massive victory. 3,317 bucks pass into their pockets. Thanks, big money. Predominantly onto the Naga Sire, notably, who is now just going to do Roche. Nice. I'm going to do Roche, and it's very loud, so I'm going to look at something else. Like, the spot where Death Prophet died, if I was the, uh... If I was the, the directed cam, I would be super into that. Oh, yeah, that's, that's my fetish. Instead, we'll look at Drow sleeping things up here. She's about to get her own Manta style, so there's that. Nice. Slightly less important than the uh, Manta style that uh, Naga Siren has, but hey, it's something. Speaking of Manta styles, DK has decided he doesn't need no stinking BKB. Going for his, uh, going for one of his own here, which is oh, sadly, oh, the DP came in to nice. uh, try and intercept this and just got smashed to bits and then tipped. Yeah. Oh, I like Aetherius is saying, get fucked, idiot. And honestly, dream. 607 gold, mostly into Witch Doctor's pocket this time. Why don't I have a cockstop Bumblebee sponsorship? That's what I've been wondering. I feel like I've owned it. I've done plenty of work for them. Like what? Nah, I suck a lot of cocks. This is a family show. Mm -hmm. Go on. This is not that that that's not an appropriate thing for a family to be hearing, you know what I'm saying? Sorry. I suck a lot of penises. That didn't make it much better, but Sorry. At least it's at least it's biologically accurate now, I guess. Push on the bot T two is now over. One thing's for sure, this team has much worse push for a very long time than the Radiant does. Right. Even when the other guys are knocked out, Naga at her full capacity just does damage to heroes, not to buildings. Alright. They don't have anything like Exo or Elder Dragon form to help them along. Like, yeah, Razor needs to steal right-click damage to do right-click damage. Void Spirit does no right-click damage, even with his Echo Saber. Naga Siren only does right-click damage thanks to Riptide, which doesn't work on buildings, so none of them can push. That's pretty awkward. Yeah. She needs to be Luna. True. Right, I'm a big fan of Luna. Naga Siren is no wise. Queuing up her heart. Damn. Not my type of girl. Ooh, hot. That's always fun. Exo coming out. Oh, my sweet Glyph sisters. immediately oh. follows. Sort of an unfortunately timed glyph as this next creep wave is uh, not going to be very threatened by it, though. Fudwing's gonna certainly do more than enough here. Blue Jay salivating. Blue Jay is rip roaring ready to go. So is Tall Balls. Void Spirit, Witch Doctor are both so excited to go out here, but they're so nervous without uh, the whole team. And Architude, this just does not feel the same way. Razor's decided. Like it or not, party's getting started. Comes out here. Steals most of DK's damage. Oh no! Drow! Drow dies immediately! Oh, it's not going good. Oh, Copless is... Copless trying to TP out! We're looting! Yeah, not going anywhere. Dragon Knight wants that hood wake. He wants something! She's... He's like... <laughs> what the hell's wrong with this walk animation? <laughs> he's dead. I think he's like stuck in his stun animation or something, so he's like... He's stuck in like ah. his root. Carp just spins oh, no. the entire fight. Jesus, the support line around as it get... At least he gets the, the Witch Doctor. Doing. Five for two trade, three thousand dollars passes in the pockets of the dire. This game is looking, appropriately enough, pretty grim. Pretty grim. No grim strokes done in this game. This Naga Siren is starting to get really scary. She just mm. killed the Drow in like an eighth of a second. In that fight, she needed neither Song nor Ages. She did not pop right. any of her big resources, and that was still that uncompetitive. Right. DP got a Philosopher's Stone. Nice. She's 
thinking about it, philosophy. You know what they say about philosophy? What? It's one of the classical subjects. Oh, okay. You know. Hoodwink really excited for the opportunity to pick up DP there. Does not does not end up with it. Right. Nani, you said it's a family show, but you've never corrected me when I've said double penetration when you say DP. That's true. Like, I feel like they don't want to. But that's not. That's that not. Didn't want me to say double that, penetration. That's not necessarily unwholesome in itself. I mean, if a tank got penetrated two times by an enemy's main gun. Oh, I've got a bad feeling. Sell your drow stocks now. Okay, so uh, what is? What was I gonna say? Right. She's trying to get out of town. Oh no! That's the nice song nice. is late. Oh. oh. That's so sad. Right, it's a tragedy. And I then, then Naga tips gives, the draw, I guess. Gives the tip for the the. Uh, you did a good job, you know. Gives the the very rare positive tip. That was like the you should have tipped me tip, really, if anything. Right. Yeah. Then why didn't you call me a dipshit? Catches him. Not much is likely to happen here. No follow up though. Yep, everybody's still at top looking for where the Drow Ranger Everybody used to be. Everyone gets dead. Everyone gets alive. Yeah. Everyone's running. That's no, not. Razor wants Ooh. this. TK's actually at like less than half health as to retreat. That's right, that's yep. right. Run away, little coward. Unfortunate situation there. It's kind of one of the things I was talking about. Just the maledict alone, really, was enough to uh, to force DK to just pull a full retreat here. Pass. Did the uh, oh? We just got harpoon. Harpoon's in the uh, Drow Ranger. Global Silence is going to take care of that for the most part. DK goes mm. in, but he doesn't have his Elder Dragon for him, so his performance in this fight is going to be fairly limited. Right. At the end of the day, it's all illusions anyway, so they're just going to freely disengage here. Maybe Poor if they guy. want to. You know, Naga's got Dragon heart. Knight, he spent, he spent his whole life preparing to fight dragons, and then he's only at his strongest when he is a dragon. It's true. Crazy if you think about it. Crazy how nature do that. It's true. Is it true you're natural as well? No. Oh, you're... Well, if you were... Let, let's just pretend for one second, for the sake of the argument that you were. As a representative of nature, how was this done? Oh, uh... They, uh... I'm not legally allowed to comment on that due to a pending settlement. Oh, okay. Now pretend for the sake of argument that you can comment on that, and the settlement doesn't matter. Oh, okay. In that case, it was done by beating a nine to death with a lead hammer. Oh, nice. But I'm I still alive, though. I, well, it's kind of a metaphor. I, you know. It's like poetry. It rhymes. I like this yeah. crappy iron branch in Naga's inventory. Get rid of that thing, would you? She might need it. It's true. She might need to plant a tree. What if she has to memorialize her fallen grandmother who really loved nature? I don't know what she does then. Razor's going for BKB here. Nearly complete. Bloodthorn this also is a nearly complete. Shell. Yep. I've been described as a defiant shell on occasion. Defiant shell quite good on Razor, so it's a nice pick up there. Night. Hoodwink gets the crappy boomerang. It always seems to be Hoodwink. Which is a shame, because this, uh, this shard is hoodwank. I love when I have a hoodwank. I don't think you really do. Oh no, I'm a big fan of it, really. I do it a lot. Radiant takes the Tormentor themselves, gets the Glaze nice. of Wisdom buff for Silence here, which is pretty annoying, but probably not going to be all too relevant this game. That's what they said about me. You got the flag there. Good job. Blue Jay queuing up a BKB. Could buy most of it right now, but he's not going to, mostly because he has no slots. Because he's also just sitting on an iron branch for no reason. 
Who win in a fight between these two groups of illusions? The answer is the Nagas. Mm. Be looking at Roche here. Mm. Radiant in general looking at Roche. Mm -hmm. Here he comes. Ah, uh, he wants it. Ah, uh, fight, weapon. He wants those lotuses. Oh, I'm not bad. Oh, this is gonna be awesome you. if you're the... One rings down. If you're the witch doctor. Exo is out, but the DP is just super dead. DP is out. Yeah. Drow 1v1ing the, no, uh, oh my gosh, running. he's so fast. With the bloodline, she is to... so fast. She doesn't have a hurricane Speedy. bike, though. Speedy! Yeah, none of these teams have mobility, so they actually can't catch her. Oh, nope! Oh, uh, here right. comes Luce. He's, got, the... got... <laughs> he's got, got that. He's got that. He's got the harpoon. Nice. It's okay, Ogre's gonna solo rot. Never mind. Look at that, that's Dragon Knight. Three for two. Three for two? One of those, the, the two were supports, and. The three were two cores. So. Yeah. Well, the three had two cores. They weren't all two cores that were three killed. Yeah, that's true. Like that. not, we're not, we're not unpersoning silencer here. He didn't Silencer. defend the state yet. Silencer, you are an enemy of the state. Bloodthorn out on the Naga, BKB out on the Razor. Nice, Razor did get his Lotuses finally. Roche is angry, but Radiant really won't be able to do much. BKB nice comes out there. on the uh, Void Spirit. Mr. Void Spirit. He's gonna take uh, the, the buff banner. Uh, you know what they say about that? What? Sabana. He dropped this stick! He dro he's dropping his, his, his thingy! His sword, his axe. I hate it when I drop my thingy. Actually, I hate, my, I, hate, I hate when I drop my thingy, which is various different sharp objects. Yeah, I hate when I have sharp objects in my dick. How often does that happen? More than you think. Why? I'm not very careful. I see. They have the well, nine second sure BKB. This is a. Uh, it's, not a it's not even what he says next. I thought he. No, uh, I can You know, these crusty burgers taste good. That's, that's what he says next. Oh, okay. Well, the thing is. Yes, I'm gonna steam your fucking hams. Under attack. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Song out here is, right, for the most right. part, just going to take out the silencer, and yeah, he just explodes. Uh, maybe it looks like maybe the DP, but no, now uh, the Drow Rangers killed the uh, the Leech Doctor. Yeah, Witch Doctor's kind of died very casually here. Everyone's kind of ignoring the DK. Unrank. The poor rat. He's, he's gonna get hungry. Nobody cares! This time. Wow. Well, this is just a straight up route. I'm trying to wait out the X on the other drag. Oh, he just stunned a fake. Not a fake razor as the Void Spirit takes out the Ogre Magi in the back line. Razor's gonna take the fall here, so is DB to follow, maybe? Oh, no. Bubble silence, kind of an awkward time. Aegis is indeed gonna come out. Voodoo switcheroo. They still do actually have the real Death Ward. And Drow Ranger is going to get demolished. They're singing for DK. Evans Halbert on the uh, on the DP comes out, not in time to save the DK, who's going to get turned into coleslaw. But you know, yeah, yeah. that's a nice thought at least. Hello. 
Yeah, I mean, you too. Frozen for upwards of a long time. It's okay, you'll live. Uh, here's what happened. That fight looked like it was going to be terrible, and then Naga Siren killed everybody. And now she's got a butterfly. Now it's dead on left, with no knowledge. Nice. And it's going for Dispersor. And, man, Naga is so loud. Alright. Using the uh, death ward, the actual death ward, to screen for the push here. Nice. Ogre Magi stuns the hell out of a fake Naga. And it is now time nice. to exit the scene. Nice. Razor is back up now. That is 8 second BKB, which is still going to be at least decent. Hmm. Don't yawn in the middle of a Dota game. This is very exciting. It's digital sports. That's electronic sports to you. Thank you very much. No, no, the standing table guys is digital sports. Oh, okay. Yeah. Big Nagas. Yeah. Quite annoying. Witch Doctor, quite dead. It's cut in the middle of five. This is probably not even necessary, but it's... Wanted to be sure. Yep. It's a job done, though. In the end, the death day is embarrassing. In the end, it doesn't even matter. You try so hard, and you get so you far. Get so far, and in the end... Yeah, well, we've been over that part. Yeah, we've already discussed Ogre? that. Ogre? Ogre? He's working on it. Ogre? Okay. He's working on it. Oh my god, god. Ogre almost dies just to Naga Illusions. She yeah, is getting classic. insane. She's almost done. So there is that. She's got to spur for Ag Shard Ag's Blessing. Right. She could switch to Boots to Travel. Oh, and, Mo and uh, Moon Shard Moon as well. Shard. Right. So, you know, that's the good news. Like, the Draw Ranger is not really close to as scary as she's gonna be. She's at least two items down. Ooh, battle uh, cage. DK is just refusing to go through this for this BKB, dude. He does not care for your Maledicts. No. Maledicts don't scare this man. Do not admit defeat, Dragon Knight. Keep fighting. Razor going for the Lotus Orb. DK going for the Ancient Guardian. Void Spirit going mm -hmm. for a uh, Daedalus here is actually making a brief uh, interruption in this coming Daedalus to pick up a Scotty. Nice. Naga Siren Dispersor nearly complete if she wants to buy out for it. Right. Looking I for anything, really. Right. I'm gonna find much. Radiant really does not want to give any fights that are not uh, around the Ancient right now. Yeah, oh, they... she's found Old Ogre. Nope, okay, doesn't care. Think... Okay, now she cares. Now she doesn't care anymore. Oh, oh, yeah, so, somebody had to... Yep. Somebody had to... Uh, Ping the hell out of. Okay, that was Switcheroo. I was about to lose my mind. Somebody had to ping the hell out of Ogre Magi for Ogre Dude this time. I was that guy, but uh. He did! Oh, he and the Ogre died in half a second. Yeah, Ogre's got a hand in Midas. I like going Midas on Ogre, because. Funny. I got. Uh, that one guy. I don't remember his name. The coach I had on Madis team, he told me not to, but. Crucial, probably. Crucial, yeah! He told me I shouldn't, and I kind of, uh, was like, well, I'll do it less, but not never. Did he accept that? Yeah. Okay. I mean, he didn't really have another option. What he was going to do is say, no, I will never teach you again. I mean, I guess he can't, <laughs> but in the end, he did Banny not decide to disown me for picking a uh, hand of Midas on Ogre. 
Oh, assassinate a nice shot on uh, Hoodwing's part, and then tips the guy. Tips the guy just to let him know it was a nice shot, I guess. Yeah, by the way, I just fucking cut your dick off, so just so you're aware. DK going on the Void That's Spirit nice alone down thing. here. Slightly ill advised when you are DK against a Witch Doctor, I think. Yeah, and, you know, the entire enemy team. Well, your team is not there, but... I, I mean, hey, in fairness, it. it was just a 1v2, so it's... Oh. Naga Siren ult coming in. Looking to immediately start jumping on the draw oh, here. They're fly back. Because they're like, oh, shit's happening. He yep. In. Global comes out to support it, but Global doesn't really accomplish much of anything. They kind of retreat back to hitting the, the thingies that set up, yeah. don't get kills, but they get the tower. Uh, kind of driven out by multi shot. Eh. I guess getting those buybacks, even if they don't get the kills, is still decent. Yeah. They got the EXO, they got the uh, buybacks, and they wasted yeah, pretty the much the exact amount of time Roche needed to come up, so there's also that. Nice. Silencer thinks that's just hilarious. He does. I'm always thinking things are hilarious. Perhaps unsurprisingly, everybody on the dire making a quick beeline to rush. Well, Blue Jay made a quick beeline to rush anyway. Everyone else says, eh. Yeah, anyway, I guess we could rush and just finish off this game and not be here for 48 hours. I'm fine being here for 48 but, hours. Yeah, everybody listen, is I'm... actually kind of fine with being here for 48 hours. Listen, I was once up. All night for very long. Hoodwink, no! Hoodwink, run! No! Song just for Hoodwink. Nice. She's looking for Drought, doesn't find her. This kind oh of. Oh my god. god. I'm just gonna oh my god. I'm just gonna fucking kill the entire enemy team. Here comes the uh, break. But I ain't lands true on the Death Prophet. It doesn't really do that much damage, though. Blue Jay is finally here. Performing for you. If you know the words, you know what to do. Oh, that was a good use of the Manta there by the Razor. It's not going to get the Drought killed, but is going to get our team well, killed. Well, the team's dead, no buyback, so that's, that's pretty much it. That's yep. all she wrote. Well, Drow's going to protest, at the very least. You know, she's trying. She got oh. her there. Oh my god! Oh, get her! Stuff, but no, no, oh my no, god, no. the harpoon. Goodbye. Rip. And that's the ball game. That's it. In the end, the man with the wide balls is the victor. Yep. Good luck next. That's how you do this. What? That's BM. What happened? He said good luck next, even though he was the winning side. You probably don't know that yet, though. I missed it. Did he say something rude? Yeah, he said GL next, oh, even though he's the winner. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That that was always fun, though. We all did that. Maybe sure. I'm a bad person. Yes, you are. Yeah. You're saying fun to say. I guess I didn't say that. I don't think I said that. I think my teammates said that. Again, this is a very I'm... simple story, just like the last game. There was a death timer in the form of the Naga Siren, the death, you know, that midnight struck. Yeah, and Doomsday the Doomsday Hammond. clock hit that one, and you see, that's, wh that's why we need to have a good disarmament treaty. We need to get rid of those nuclear weapons, because we just, it's just, it's too risky. And, like, the Naga Siren could 1v5 in this game if she got fed? And then she got fed, and then she did. Simple as that. Nothing more to say. Yeah. Draft that issue. Was the, that was pretty funny when it was just her and Hoodwink, and she just killed them all anyways. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I can handle all y'all. So that's the end of the line for Le Faux's Gras. The, I trade uh, that you get for feeding corn to ducks. Yep. The, uh... They came a long way. They had U.S. Danny Paws 3. And, uh... I'm sorry about that. It was an interesting lineup. You very, I don't think we've ever really seen a team with this gimmick like this, where the, the Foes Gras, their real gimmick was that, like, they had two decent cores in the form right. of La and U.S. Danny, 
right? Both, right. I would say Law in the upper percentile, like, of the pause ones of the season. Danny around the middle of the pause threes. Right. Yeah, you know, they had Black Otter was a very low MMR mid and performed as such. But they had, like, God's gift to support lines in a meta, in a in a scenario where that actually worked out really well. You know, these mm. very early game focus metas, you know, these games are all 60 minutes long, but all the fun stuff really does still happen in the first, like, 15, 20 for the most part. So, mm. very support-heavy team. Interesting to uh, to see the execution. Interesting to see the outcome. Did do fairly well for themselves. I mean, they got knocked out here, but the the beasts were the top team for most of this season. So taking a win off of them in your last series isn't too bad. isn't isn't a bad note to go out on if you got to go out. So, I'm going to say that while I know you meant the execution in the form of how they executed their play, it, you could interpret it as the execution as them being fucking killed because they were knocked out. And that's that's true. It's mildly funny, I'm sorry, but that, we did watch you get beheaded live on stream. That is their execution, so I'm going to give you the honor of uh, choosing who I talk about, choosing the order of who I talk about here. Okay. So who am I talking about first? You want me US to give Danny. you your choices? Okay, U.S. Danny. The U.S. Danny Pause 3 experiment was certainly interesting. It went better than I thought it would. I figured, you know, Danny was going to come into this as like a one-hero wonder, have like maybe a couple of good matches when he gets his guys and gets stomped otherwise. But did have some interesting plays. I think the decision late on into the season to start trying to run like mids from three was a bad one. It got you fucked more than it helped, really. And, I mean, you had a 0% win rate with that strategy. What can I tell you? The, um... Mako. Hello, Mako. Shoutouts to yeah. you. I just kind of want him to come over, but he's not going to. He doesn't come when I call. I just do that to believe in myself. If you're going to run pause 3, run pause 3. You did a lot better on as a pause 3 player when you were doing that than when you were trying to do this awkward mid from 3 thing. It just doesn't work. Like... You know, maybe, maybe if, like, your mid is doing, like, Necro, Necro and Primal Beast or whatever, but that's, rarely was that the case, and even when it was, it still didn't really work out. So, yeah, you're gonna run three, run three. Two from three, that don't work for me, brother. Who's next? Do you want me to give you your choices? Uh, it's, 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 uh... Do you mean like Yeah. That guy. You know, there's uh there's something I'm saying about a lot of guys this season, and it's uh true about La as well. It seems like the consistency factor for La has not really been here. There's some yeah. games where the guy like super duper ultra pops off or he's just like one V five in the whole world and it looks like he's just super b rolling over everyone and just balling. Looks like there's some games where he's just got zero impact and he's just there to kinda be the be the one that dies in a fight that makes you go, oh no! You know, no, yeah. very little in between. It's just very hit or miss. I think a lot of that is just on his own picks. There were a lot of picks like, you know, this game, this is an impossible drow game. This is like, that was last pick, right? right? I'm pretty sure anyway. It was either that or Razor. And even if it wasn't, no, the Razor was up earlier. So, right. at the very least, the Naga Siren was already out for sure. The Void Spirit, pretty confident, was already out. Right? It was already the world's worst looking Drow Ranger game when he decided to run with that. And he did. And wow, guess what happened? Like, the exact prediction of that matchup. You know, Naga's Iron just cuts through everyone else and just eats her a million times, right? Like, yeah. Very awkward, very think. rough. Learn your matchups, pick yourself in a more, in, you know. Pick, pick your matchups according to what wins. You know, there will be games where you have to play some boring guy to win the game. That's if you're plus one, that's your that's your that's your curse. You have to be boring but practical to win. That's as simple as it gets. If you want to be flashy, play another role. If you wanna be practical and win, play plus one. Who's up next? Uh Coplice. Copless. Accomplice. Very strong season overall, unsurprisingly. Um, I think there is, again, like with many pause for it, I do think there is something to be said about the pool on, uh, on P4. You know, Io is awesome right now, so that's great. 
right? That's his main hero. That's his avatar and everything. Isles' is main hero, that's really awesome right now. Everybody is happy about that. You know, everything is good in the world. All right. But it does feel like you've kind of got, like, the IO. You've got, like, the uh, the clockwork. You've got, you know, a pretty small group of guys that if he's on them, he's just doing off- awesome. And you mm-hmm. got this group of guys where if he's not, if he's on them, he's doing nothing. All right. Feels like he's very vulnerable to Vans, and it's it also feels like it's kind of the only role he can play, unfortunately, because his uh, flexibility seems pretty limited. Which I mean, I can't blame him for. The you know that that that's the uh, the fate of the role spammer. But uh, if you're gonna run pause four, I do think it probably would be in your best interest to be able to run like basically every pause four that's relevant as well as you can. Right. Would not be bad, especially at your MMR. Who's next? Black Otter. Black Otter. An interesting experiment. This whole low MMR mid playing thing that you set yourself up for. Again, went better than uh, I think anybody thought it was going to, but a lot of that was on just having a really good support line that was able to pick up after you and having Danny... Uh, ping you a bunch and slap you around a bunch until you got everything down. You definitely, if you weren't most improved this season, you were definitely a good contender for it because you really looked lost there the first couple of weeks, but you seemed pretty solid there when uh, when it was about all said and done, so there's that. The problem is is that your play style as a two, it does not lend itself to like two play very well. You play two like a three. You play pause two like a pause three, basically, like it's supposed to play their hero. With these guys who peak super early, you know, the big tanky dudes, you know. It does make me think maybe your calling is somewhere else, but hey, at the very least, if, you know, you can't you can't put a, that black of a mark on this season. It definitely was an improvement season for you, so keep that up, if nothing else. Who's next? There's only one left. That's Maxwell. true. Max. Max, you're too good for this league. Get some more MMR. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> You you should not be in the LD2L. You have learned all you need to learn out here on Pause 5. That's That much is abundantly clear. It's just rocking and rolling nearly every game. Very very high impact from a low-key roll. Perfect mm-hmm. time to do it. Shame, uh, shame the road ended here, but what are you going to do, right? Get out of LD2L. I'm sure he probably... Right. Decent chance he probably is already, but you know how it goes. We don't want you here. That's not that. I I mean like. Anani hates you. That's not it. But you know. Anani says that you should you should fucking die. That's not what I said, for the record. And with that being said, anything to say about this series or this game that doesn't involve genitals? Not if you put those restrictions on me. No. If you or somebody you know wants to learn Dota 2 at a casual or more competitive level, go to ld2l.gg to sign up today. It's too late to get into this season obviously, but queues are popping all over the place, and houses are starting up early. All kinds of fun to be had, and you never know when Season 18's gonna strike. LD2L.GG, follow that link to the Discord server, that's where all the fun is happening, and we will see you this Sunday for uh, the White Joel Birch taking on these guys, the beasts. And if you or someone you know wants to learn more about genitals, message combination bean. Don't do that. <laughs>